welcome back to another Cyber Cyber Wellness News Flash. I'm F.E. Tricknet, your newscaster as usual. And now, breathtaking news as a ravaging teenage girl sneaks into the home of a celebrity and a pedophilic Facebook group gets cracked down on. In the small dreary town of Spoons in the DS of A, a young girl has snuck into the home of our sparkly, bedazzled star celebrity doggery. It is believed that the girl, Isabella, or otherwise known as Bella Goose, had met him via his fake, fake nook account, otherwise known as Edgar Klaus Hens. Edgar Klaus Hens. She tracked him down using information that he had posted on his fake account. It is believed that Isabella is a ravaging vampire attracted to sparkly people such as our poor, 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 bedazzled celebrity. On the bright side, authorities have infiltrated the pedophilic Facebook group to post their pictures and ask others to rate their faces, clothes, etc, etc, etc. This group is believed to have linked many stalkers and victims in similar cases to the Isabella Goose one mentioned earlier for the past month across the globe. Yesterday, Rambo Ross Army stormed in onto authorities and ensured a complete eradication of the group. So, these cases have brought forth big, 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 big questions about the safety of social media. Our reporters asked some students about what's naughty and nice on social media, and here are what some of them said. I think it's okay chatting with strangers online, but don't review too much. Some people tag locations in their photos or statuses and it's not a good idea. I think it's useful but you should check your privacy settings when you use it. We now have a very very exclusive interview from our reporter Frankenstein and Professor Drew Tan aka Raina, who is the counsellor at Camp Pickfuts. School of Minecraft and Mastery. So, most basically, what do you think are the main problems seen with youths using social media? I think the main problem is that students are not yet mature enough to be astute. They might not be aware about the importance of discretion. This allows potential stalkers to track them down. And before you know it, well, let's just say it does not end happily. I've seen cases where the victim goes into very bad emotional shock. So, what do you incorporate into PigFuck Cyber Wellness Program? Can you share some ways to tackle these so-called pedophiles? In the program, we first tell students how these stalkers can trace them via information put on social media sites like Facebook and Twitter. To pull out a tree, I say, find the roots. This way, students get to see from another perspective and have a better understanding of what's safe and what's not to put online. Do not put basic contact and location details where they are public. In fact, don't make your profiles public at all. There are also applications that parents can use to check their kids' online activity. We have a site for parents with the list of applications and more tips. I see. Thank you. Social media, is it social or controversial? To our young viewers, only you can stop the stalkers. Happy Cyber Wellness Workshop and may your privacy settings be always in favor.